If I had a dollar, every time somebody mentioned the brand Dornblut and Sorn amongst my nearest and dearest, I'd probably have one dollar. There are many reasonable, well-known German brands, and just as many that are only known to a small clique of enthusiasts. Dornblut and Sorn is one of those brands that we feel strongly that they are worthy of much more attention. So sit back, relax, and let us tell you more about the Dornblut and Sorn brand and the regulator and one of Germany's best kept secrets. The Regulator is a beautiful crafted, completely handmade watch from a small family owned business. Each timepiece from D. Dornbluts and Sorn is crafted and finished by hand without computer controlled equipment and somehow each model is priced well within the reach of most collectors. In the late 1950s, Dieter Dornblut from the village of Salzwedel in Germany designed his own wristwatch movement. Almost 50 years later, in 1999, Dirk Dornblut, now a master watchmaker, gave his father for his 60th birthday a watch he had designed himself based on the Glasser to Caliber 60.3. This made his father consider reviving a 40-year-old dream and the rest is history. Today, the watchmakers at D. Dornbluth & Sorn in the city of Kalber make all the dials, hands and almost all of the movement parts in their own workshop. The Dornbluth cases are made by a metalworking company that eventually became a supplier to the watch industry. Before each watch heart begins to beat, the components are carefully hand assembled and painstakingly finished to create a piece which excludes old charm and watchmaking excellence. Depending on the model, you will find a completely reworked movement based on a Unitas caliber. Other models feature movements with at least 95% in-house manufactured parts. The regulator movement we're looking at here features a red gold, grain plated three quarter plate with yellow gold engraving of manufacturer name and double sunburst finished on the crown wheels. You'll find plenty of beveled edges, a yellow gold serial number and a significant amount of candy for your eyes. In other words, this is a beautiful movement decorated to a point where you might find yourself sitting there watching a tick away for way too long. Perhaps to the point where your significant other will start wondering if they are about to be demoted to not a significant other. When you realise that all these parts are milled and cut from old machines that are in many cases no longer manufactured, or that the blue parts from the screws to the hands are heated and cooled by the master watchmaker in Kalber, that could be the turning point in your life when Dornbluth and Sorn make it onto your shortlist. So we know we are working with a stunning movement, but what about the watch face? After all, that's what we're looking at all day long. Don't worry, the attention to detail and the beauty is just as obvious here. What first strikes you is the beautiful balance here of the watch face. The logo and caliber is perfectly counterweighted by the model name and there's plenty of white space for all the details of the dial to breathe. What we're looking at here is an engraved grain silver plated brass dial, in other words, the numbers, text and all the details have been engraved out of one solid plate. There are two dials here, the sunken hour display at just above 6 o'clock and a power reserve scale at the 12 o'clock position. It's not an easy task to integrate a power reserve display without losing the overall balance which makes this implementation even more impressive. One could also argue that this is a very useful complication on a manual wound movement where you can sometimes wonder if it's close to having been fully wound. Once again, the handcrafted aspect of this watch is on display. With its hand polished, heat blued, long slender hands slowly ticking away. The second hand is perhaps particularly attention grabbing with its lovely circle counterweight. Much like on your favourite sports car, it's not good enough to have a great front and rear. You also need a good package in between. The hand polished steel case is discreet enough to not get in the way of the many stunning details on display here, but elegant enough to bring the regulator to life. 
the long slender lugs drop down to ensure the watch sits well on your wrist. Since this is a watch on the larger side at 42mm wide, the longer lugs ensure that the watch maintains its perfect balance. The fairly slim thickness of 12mm makes it an easy watch to wear to both the office and taking the dog for a walk on the weekend. The sign crown is another great design detail, but importantly the crown itself is easy to manipulate with its deep grooves. Since once again this is a manually wound watch, you spend a lot of time with the crown and it needs to be easy to grip. The level of detail, beauty and thoughtful design on display here is astonishing. When you consider the fact that this watch is around the same price as the suggested retail price for a Rolex Submariner, and you know the man hours involved, the old school watchmaking from the small family owned brand in Germany, and the touching origin story, it's hard not to feel that Dornbluth & Sorn should be a household name as strong as many of the largest brands in the industry. But do you know what? How often do you come across a hidden secret? Is there a better feeling in the world than finding that perfect combination of uniqueness, value and beauty? The Dornbluth & Sorn watches are perhaps a once in a lifetime find and we all have an opportunity here to invest in one that you can be proud to own and one day hand down to your family members. You may not win the fictional game of give me a dollar every time this brand is mentioned, but you have already won. Time only, the authorised dealer for Dawn, Bluth & Sorn.